Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be changing oil in this Infinity G35. So this is a 2008. So it's a new body style with the uh, older 3.5 engine. That's upgraded, obviously. It is a little bit different than the old G35s, but I think it's similar. Let me show you what oil I got. Here's the oil I'm going to use. This is the Extended Performance Mobile One. 10W30, so... It's guaranteed for 15,000 miles, but we're probably going to only use it for 5,000 miles because of the way we drive this thing, which is called extreme conditions, obviously. So, anyways, and I get, I get, I got just a regular Fram filter because that's all that was available to me at the moment. So, well, let's see if we can figure out where the drain plug is and the filter underneath this car. Alright guys, so I got the car jacked up, as you can see, on the right side, and I started taking off the bolts off of this lower cover here, that basically, in order to even get to anything, you have to take this cover off. So you can either take off just the back bolts there, and then bend it over, and expose the filter right there, and the drain plug. But I'm going to go ahead and take off this whole thing because I'm working from the ground, so it's uh, kind of hard to get to anything because this car is pretty low profile. So. Alright guys, so the cover is off. And as you can see, it's not too hard. It's just 10 millimeter bolts. There's quite a few of them going around, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It only took like less than 10 minutes to take that off. So it'll be a lot easier to get to everything now, so we can see everything real easy here. So there's the filter. And there's the drain plug right there, so. Right there, so. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get a wrench on there. You can see your alternator right there, so it wouldn't actually be that hard to change an alternator. We can also check other things under here, so it looks pretty dry overall, surprisingly. It's got 100,000 miles, so. And it's been driven pretty hard, but it's pretty clean. All right, so it's a 14 millimeter bolt to drain the oil. Right there, so. I went ahead and broke it already. Let's see if we can. It's, the oil's kind of hot. I just came back from dropping the kids off. So there we go. Yeah, this nut is kind of bolt is kind of hard to hold. It's hot. So we'll let it drain. Hopefully, this pan is big enough for that. Should be. And then we'll uh, work on our filter. All right. So it's almost done draining. It's just slowly coming out now um, let me show you guys something that I like to do so here's my bolt it's nice and clean so what I like to do is I like to put a magnet usually right on the bolt because what happens is it magnetizes the bolt and the whole area around because that's all metal you could just put the magnet right on here somewhere but I like to put it right on the bolt because I want this to be magnetized so if there's any metal particles in the engine from the uh, sleeves or whatever, whatever the oil filter doesn't get, the small stuff that's metal, usually the iron is the one that um, will, will do the most harm. So this will uh, capture that. All right, guys, so now that it's done draining, we can go ahead and put the, uh, the bolt back in there. And you don't want to tighten that super hard, but you want to tighten it pretty snug so it doesn't unscrew, obviously. So, but don't over tighten it because that's bad too because it's hard to get it off later. And plus, you can strip the uh, bolt. And we're going to tighten it. That's pretty good right there, so that's not going to go anywhere for sure. So next, one, I'm going to go ahead and put this magnet on there. So if you can find a bigger magnet that's stronger, that'll probably work better, but these all I had. They are neodymium magnets, but if, if you go thicker, it'll be a lot stronger. So, Anyways, that's what I like to do right there. Magnetize the whole area. Alright guys, but I didn't show you, but I did get an oil wrench. It's a 65 to 67 millimeter. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get the oil filter off. 
Okay, so the filters is on here are smaller, I think. Anyways, oh wow, that's not even tight. Oh, that was barely tight. How about that? So this car was serviced at Nissan because it does have a Nissan oil filter right there. So that's good. Looks like this life has, or the the life of this car looks like has been at Nissan most likely, so, or Infinity, should I say? Oops, sorry guys, didn't realize this rag was annoying. Oil draining in the pan. Got the camera propped up on the rag. Forgot my tripod. But yeah, oil filter is pretty loose. I like to see the oil filter a little bit tighter than that. So That was too loose for me. It's just oil filters can unscrew pretty easily. If the engine's vibrating. So That normally never happens though, but I've heard of people say that but I think most people that have that issue they they just forgot to tighten the oil filter on all together so so here's the old oil filter all right guys so here's a new oil filter it's a Fram honestly this is probably not the best brand to buy but this is all I had available to me at the moment the other ones the better ones were out of stock um, usually what I like to do obviously and you should do is oil this ring so when you put it back on the car you know, this thing will be nice and smooth. This gasket ain't gonna fight with you. So, and normally you'd wanna put a little bit of oil in there, but because this one is screwed in sideways like this, most of it will come out, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So we're gonna put this back on there. And normally hand tighten this thing is pretty good so once you get it hand tight and it's pretty tight then what I like to do is I'd like to get the oil wrench and I like to go another quarter after it and that usually turns out perfect so, so another quarter would be a little more that's it right there so then we end up with the Fram logo pointing right at us but anyways that should be good so we're done here guys we got the oil drained we got the bolt back in, we tighten it, put the magnet on it, remove the old one, put the new oil filter on and tighten that and we should be good. So now we can put the uh, oil in the car and then we can start it up, make sure everything's fine and then we will put the cover back on. Oh yeah guys, I did forget to say you could unscrew this to help the oil drain faster but there was no issue at all in this car of a draining so. Okay. So... Here obviously we got the suggested 5W30, but because this car is a little bit older, we're going to go ahead and put 10W30 in here. So I like to put a little thicker oil because I live in a warmer climate anyways, it's never cold here. So this is perfectly fine, maybe even better. Man, I think I need a funnel. This hole so little. This hole is bigger than that hole, so Let's see if I can go find a funnel because I think I'm going to spill this thing all over the place if I don't get a funnel. Alright guys, so I found the funnel. So make sure your funnel is really clean before you put oil in there because the last thing you want to do is put sand in your engine. <clears throat> and tunnel funnels seem to get dirty while they're sitting around. So. Alright, let's put some oil on this thing guys. It's going to be a little slow because this funnel is not that wide. But that's okay. going at a pretty decent rate so I'm not sure exactly how many quarts goes in here but I pretty much left one quart so we got four quarts in there so I'm gonna check what that looks like real quick I have to wipe it off in one second so we are at the very bottom line so yeah we could technically go another quart easy all right guys as you can see that's all of it barely Danny draining out so we got all our gold out of there our mobile one gold but it's about right here so it still needs a little more so we'll probably have to add more oil so it looks like it's more than five quarts looks like it's closer to five and a half to six so. but no big deal we'll add that I have extra oil right there I'm gonna go ahead and start this beast 
Alright guys, I thought I was recording but I didn't. So I started the car and uh, the oil light stayed on just for like 2-3 seconds. Maybe less than that, something like that, like 2 seconds. And then it went away. So so the, the thing that you do want to do is you want to check right away after you crank it and everything is good. Uh, underneath, make sure you got no leaks under there. So, you're looking good over here. Everything looks fine. As you can see, no leaks. So, we're good to put all this back together. Alright guys, so this time I'm going to try to show you how I put this uh, thing back on. So. All right, guys, and that's it. As you can see, it's on and it's perfect. So it did take about five minutes of that, so not too bad. Um, one of the other things um, that I kind of wanted to look at was the in reset the interval in this car, or set it, should I say, to... I guess you guys can see it. Um, let's go to settings, I think. No, wait, not settings, info. Info, maintenance, and then reminder number one. So, reminder number one, interval. Let's put it at 5,000 miles. Reset distance. So, we're going to click on that to reset it. And there it goes. So, you see these orange bars? Once that reaches 5,000, it's going to give me a reminder to change my oil. So. That's kind of cool. I mean, I, I'm already going to know easily because I'm right at 100,000 miles here. So 105 would be my oil change. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this oil change. Um, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. The hardest part was taking the air dam off the bottom, the cover. Um, just was a little bit time consuming, but still not that bad. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Check out my other videos on this uh, car where I do these trims here. I painted these. Uh, they're notorious for having an issue peeling all over the place. So check out my backup camera, which I can show you right now. I put in reverse on the AUX here. I have a backup camera. So I do have to go in AUX to have that though. Check that video out. And uh, I did fix the dashboard. I had a bunch of cracks. They're still there kind of, but I had huge gaps here like actual holes in the dashboard where i fixed that so check that out anyways thanks for watching and uh hit the like button if you like this subscribe to see more all right see you on the next one peace